Hi, hi, my name's um, Cheryl Grant. I live in Somersham in Cambridgeshire and I've been running the Somersham Friendship Club um, since July 2019. I um, opened the hall about 9.15 in the morning. I'm a key holder and put out tables and chairs and um, we greet them at the door at about any time between 10 and 10.30. Um, they always have to have a mask on and use the hand gel. Um, they pay five pounds a day uh, at a time um, each Tuesday. Uh, we start with tea, coffees, biscuits, 10 to 10.30. And then we usually have an activity or a speaker come in about 11 and lunch at 12, home at one. Average, it's about 20. Um, we have 25 members on our books and um, we've lost a few because a lot of them are in their 90s. So we have lost a few of them in the last couple of years, but um, usually about 20. Yes. Contacted or I think I may have seen a poster from Age UK asking for volunteers. Um, this was probably in December 2018 and I went along. And I knew immediately it was something that I really wanted to help with. I basically just did the coffees right at the beginning. And we worked with someone from Age UK for six months. And I, I think they had some funding for that. So we had some really nice um, entertainment and stuff. And I took it over in, in July. So um, that was something I really felt I wanted to do once I'd retired. Eight volunteers. On, on the books. Um, they don't all come every week. It's not, it's a voluntary thing. Some people don't come, they go on holiday or they don't feel up to it because we're all mostly uh, retired anyway. Um, the drivers are taken from a scheme we have in Somersham called the Time Bank. Um, it's run for Somersham and Piddley and they, um, they've recruited drivers from there. We have about five drivers on the books and they pick up from home and bring, and there's about, uh, seven or eight that need people to um, bring them out of their homes. Um, uh, most of the volunteers are, um, as I say, retired. We have two ladies who, who were chefs in their time or cooks, and they, they're amazing. They come in and do most of the food for us in the hall. Um, so it, it works very well. We have had moments when occasionally we've only had three volunteers available and it's been a little bit stretched. But we've always managed and, and obviously the, the, the members of the group are just so happy to be there. They really don't mind if it's just, you know, a, a, a bought ready meal. They just want something and a chat with people. So that's that's what they come for, basically. Any, anything between, well, they can come at any time during the session. But I mean, I start at sort of quarter past nine and I get home about quarter past one after I've sort of tidied the hall up, but other people just come for, you know, clearing up. Other people come at the beginning to do the teas and coffees, then go off and do something else. So it's, it's whatever suits everyone. Um, I mean, I, I love being there and I'm quite an organizing sort of person. So I'm always there beginning and end, but other people don't necessarily, but it, it, it works very smoothly. You need insurance and it's a, a charity a charity insurance even though we're not a registered charity um we have a lady who who actually she is still working but she's our secretary and she set that up for us and we just pay that once a year we've done a safeguarding um course online all these things were suggested by age uk at the beginning we actually went into peterborough and did a food hygiene nvq2 um four of us um, right at the beginning, but I'm understanding we can do that now online. So we'll be doing that again in March. It's um, It puts a few people off, to be fair. And the people who just come and volunteer and just do the teas and coffees don't need to worry about any of that, apart from the rules I lay down in the kitchen. We have had a food inspection a couple of months ago. Uh, we got three out of five rating, which was a bit disappointing, but Obviously, I've never catered before and there were things in our kitchen more wiping down and understanding how to store food better. Um, so she's going to come back and inspect us again in a year. She was very nice to us and it wasn't stressful at all. And generally, 
once you've got these things in place, it just rolls over and not everyone has to do it. It's just getting people in there who want to help basically. This is the lovely part. We have a Tesco's in our, in our village and they donate absolutely everything for every meal. They do everything. So financially, we're actually very well off. We charge five pounds a session, which has been in place right from day one. So they all pay just five pounds, um, which covers any trips we want to go on. Um, we went to Wicksteed um, Christmas extravaganza in, in December, which they thoroughly enjoyed and that paid for the coach and obviously everything was taken care of, but we're very, very lucky. And I don't, you know, if, if you don't get that, you may have to charge a little bit more for sessions to make sure you can cover your costs, but we're doing very well and we're very, very lucky and we do appreciate it. So just five pound a week. Um, we, did, we asked them for feedback after a few months uh, after I took over because I was concerned that, you know, we, we, would, we need to do this club for them. So that was the important thing. Um, we haven't really had any, any major hurdles at all. If you get someone in your volunteers who is a bit worldly wise and can use computers and, you know, you only need one person to do that. I mean, I'm not very good on computers at all, but she, she does this for us and she doesn't, she doesn't come to the club that often, but she's from home and she'll do all our printing and stuff like that, because you do have to have access to computers for this. Um, Organising trips and things has been fine. I mean, recently I found that people are not happy to come to the group quite often because of COVID. So we have had to um, had a few weeks when we haven't been able to have speakers in. But we've, we haven't really had any, any major hurdles at all, apart from being closed for COVID, which has happened to everyone, hasn't it? So, um, yes, I don't think we have had any major hurdles at all. We gave them these forms. I'll just hold them up yeah. so you can see. It's just a, a general sort of feedback form. We did that, um, probably we'll do it again soon. It's very important because this club is for them, not us. You know, it really is for them. Um, and they were 99% positive. The most things they liked was the friendly, smiling reception they got when they got there. And, you know, just chatting to friends. Um, the slight issue I suppose we did have is that people sat with the same people every week. And my idea was that you moved around and made friends with other people, but they very soon get set in in their little ways and they sit with their friends but I've noticed they do all move around and have a little chat obviously with masks on at the moment and um, we asked them what sort of activities they wanted um, they wanted musicians to come in card games um, local speakers which I have organized obviously since all this feedback um, we used to get the, the, the preschool children to come in every few weeks and that was amazing but they're not happy to do that at the moment, obviously, um, with all the COVID. So I might try and set that up again in a few, a few months. Um, but basically, the feedback was always very, very positive. And as I said before to you, that some people, this is the only day they come out of their house. So the driver will pick them up at the door, bring them to us for two and a half hours or whatever, take them home. And that is what they look forward to every single week. So when we were shut down with COVID, it was very important that we kept contact with them. And as I said to you before, we um, took them little gifts every month to make sure that, you know, we bought them all an Amaryllis at Christmas and we're having a race to see which one's the tallest and things like that. It just keeps them interactive and knowing they're okay. So 